book. These are our after looks of our really fast getting ready. Yeah. The finished look. I feel like my foundation is a little too tan for me right now. <laughs> like it's I fine. spent the day in the sun. It'll blend. We are on the craziest land bridge right now. Yes. Man-made. Tense. Thank you, taxpayers of Florida. We also have 60,000 palm trees. 60,000 palm trees on this highway, which you can see back well, there's here. 60 right there. <laughs> Look at that. They're all braced. They're all braced. Now, I wonder though, I imagine that these naturally grow here. The whole thing in LA is that they don't, and that they brought them to LA. The palm trees are not They're native fabricated to LA. Fun fact of the day. Can you see yourself in it? <gasps> Can you see yourself? Yeah. So, yeah, we'll do outfits of the day and recap once we get there. Made it to the venue. You guys, it is beautiful, as you can see behind me. I just kind of want to give you a quick little tour here. We are at the Rusty Pelican in Tampa Bay. This is the front entry that you walk up. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then it is followed by this incredible view. This is the outside entrance. And they've got Christmas decorations on the chandelier, which I love. And this gorgeous mantle and fireplace. And then here are the main doors. I want to show you guys a little outfit of the day. My shoes are actually from Payless. They're the Comfort Plus brand because I'm an old woman and have to have like orthopedic support. So they're nude pumps. I wear them to work all the time. Love them. My dress is actually from Mod Cloth. It's a couple years old, but still one of my favorites. I like the kind of ballet fit and flare style, hence the sock bun. Um, my bracelet here is from Bobble Bar. And then I have earrings from Macy's. And then a antique bag. I talked Hans and Jeffrey into doing an outfit of the day. Okay. Ready? This is a bar three suit. Uh, I actually was actually had it during my wedding, uh, but I didn't have the jacket on for the wedding. It's, very, it's tailored, it's all nice. Um, then I have an express shirt. Tailored, just pretty simple. It's a 1MX with a Calvin and Klein tie. Calvin Klein. And, as well as Calvin Klein shoes. Ooh. Nixon watch that my beautiful wife got me for our wedding. Ooh. It's my favorite. It's One century. of my favorites, too. And that's it. So dapper. Yeah. This is where the reception will be. Gorgeous. So I just spoke with my future brother-in-law, Andrew, and I'm gonna go help them bring in the centerpieces and get them set up. So I'm gonna run and go help do that, but I wanted to kind of show you guys the gorgeous room before it gets filled up with people. And here is the view through the screen, but oh, so gorgeous, surrounded by water. I'm so excited. Oh, videos, we're doing videos, Albert. Albert, videoing. Okay. My gorgeous 
essential sister-in-law. She'll be sister-in-law officially next year. I wish we could just live with you guys. Oh my gosh, please move to LA. Actually, I am totally down with that. Oh my gosh, please, please. You guys have to do at least come and stay with us since we have a guest room. The ceremony Are you gonna put this on YouTube? Yes. Yes. We are currently going back to the reception hall. Yes. To finish And we are so excited. We're so excited. We're gonna make sure everything's in place. By the gorgeous sunset. But we're gonna make sure everything's in place and then from there, it's gonna be. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be like It's gonna be perfect. Delicious pumpkin pie. Look at how gorgeous it is right now. Literally freaking out. Look at how pretty. Yay. Jeff, how are you feeling after seeing your sister get married? <clears throat> I am um, so excited to see her so happy. I started tearing up. Getting a little emotion. She was tearing up um, while she was walking down the aisle. I'm excited for, I'm just excited to celebrate now for the rest of the night. Yeah, so it's gonna be a fun party. We're gonna have great dinner and dancing and and it's so beautiful. I know. Like this. And the whole the whole reception hall you'll see is all windows. So this is in the backdrop. It's yeah. amazing. Hello. We're back from the wedding. Sorry if the wedding part of the vlog kind of ended abruptly. The battery died and it made me really sad because I wanted to get some good pictures of everybody, but we still took a lot and it was really fun. And yeah. It was kind of nice just to have that little time with the family too, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we just got back and we've got, we can't make it a super late night because we have to go to the airport really early, but we're going to do a little hot tubbing. I'm holding this camera weird. You're holding weird. Approximately 7.25 a.m. on Sunday, bright and early. A very loud and raucous car <laughs> driving to the airport. Just kidding. Really kind of want to show you guys the house more. Mainly because there was a spiral staircase, which I didn't even go up there. I don't even think anyone went up there. It was more just the allure of it. was the allure of the spiral staircase. We had really good uh, intentional hot tub time with the fams last night. Shared a pint of Chunky Monkey. Lives were changed. Flight departs at 9 a.m. Back to LA. We fly through Houston. Joy. Reporting to you live because we're still in Houston. All right, backstory. We get to the airport in Tampa with approximately like 15 minutes to board, which is like my perfect time. Get our Starbucks. We get on the plane. Of course, I'm like, <clears throat> I'm gonna sleep because that's, I'm just so tired. So I'm like laying on Jeff's lap, and I'm hearing the loudspeaker guy, but I'm I'm kind of waiting for the takeoff, right, which does not happen. She was napping for like 45 minutes on my lap, and we hadn't moved yet, um, because Houston Airport was, uh, what was it, what's the word? On rain lockdown, rain no lockdown. one flies in, no one flies out. Rain. Uh, the same time we landed on the ground, our LA flight home took off. Yeah, it was like the apocalypse because there were so many flights that were missed. So it, it was, was crazy. it was flight apocalypse. I will throw bows to get on the it. next LA flight because the guy Greg, 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 who Gregory. was the flight attendant from our flight from Tampa, who's awesome, was like kind of helping us out behind the scenes. We were kind of like, hey, we left late. What are we gonna do? And he's like, well, there's this flight, and he's trying to help us out. He comes up to us whilst everyone is in that, oh, we just landed, let's all stand up in panic mode. And he's like, hey guys, there's a flight to LA at 12, and as soon as he said that, I was like, no, you've opened up the floodgates because now everybody surrounding us, right, hears open flights, oh, customer service, oh, empty seats. And I'm like, no, don't advertise, don't, don't, because now everybody's gears are going, literally two rows back. Some guy's like, oh, are they LA? We're LA too, and I'm like. Just crazy. I'm like, okay. I'm all for like, you know, be respectful, but I was like, we're gonna beeline it to that customer service desk so that we can get on the next LA flight. Get off the plane. So we get off the plane, wait in a few lines, make calls, well, kind of. It was good teamwork because basically teamwork. people start running and I'm like, well, if they're running, we're gonna run. So he goes to the first customer yeah. service line, which is about like, you know, like we're talking like when the Millennium Force opened up at Cedar Point type long. So then we run, 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 run to the other customer service line just as long. Thankfully, they were handing out these like hotline cards. I will say this, 
as frustrated as I am with United, they totally pulled through with this hotline because I talked to someone immediately who got us on a 6.30 flight to LA, but we have a video to shoot tonight with our small group, and I was like, that's not gonna work. So I started asking questions. I was like, Burbank, Long Beach, what can we do? Got on a flight, 2.50, Santa Ana, John Wayne. Really quick though, brief United review. Here's the thing, the whole standby, I don't believe in that system, I don't think it works, because one, you have all these people with standby seats. Here's the thing, every plane has a certain number of seats. You know, as the airline, whether or not there's enough seats on the plane. If there aren't enough seats, giving 10 people standby does not make sense. And then you just have this like pool of people floating through the airport with no seats on any plane. <sighs> We're there. We're almost there. So now we are going to meet Caleb, who's amazing, and driving all the way down to Orange County to pick us up. It's an hour. Because our community group is the best. Oh my gosh, you were a literal rock star for coming to pick us up. <laughs> literal rock star. Sorry, it's a little messy. Oh, don't even worry about it. You were a saint, sir. Well, Houston had rain, which meant that we couldn't land. Land, can you turn that down? Which meant we couldn't land. Well, we couldn't even fly in, so we were sitting in Tampa for, like an for an extra hour, oh, okay. and then we missed our connection, and then the the oh, next phone. flight that was open, yeah. departing Houston to LA was 6.30 p.m., which was not gonna work out. Yeah, thanks for making it down here. I know, no thank you so you much. You just said you're on my phone? Yeah. So, like, speak to us. How was your weekend, Caleb? I love for it to speak it to us. It was good, it was super busy. It's just a- You just did a shoot, what did you shoot for? Um, so this one was a food shoot. 